roots in art and music and culture and urban spaces. Um, and that's what we're about. We're trying to tie the city of Syracuse together through art and culture. We believe in scholarship and action and getting students, you know, to engage themselves with the community and everything. And uh, they were, it was really important for us to have SU students on this bus as well because that's kind of the collaboration, you know. This is Syracuse City Ballet and this is a photographer who's worked, you know, throughout the country. And then we also had SU students who were providing the music. I mean, it was a really great, you know, it was human form, it was dance, it was music, it was beautiful, like it was wonderful, you know, collaborations of, you know, putting performances in places that you wouldn't expect to see a performance. You know, you hop on a bus and you're just expecting to get from A to B, but we're giving you kind of this random experience in city art. So this is kind of our way of trying to show people that, yes, we are this, you know, big city project that's working to revitalize Syracuse, but we're also concerned with you know, how people enjoy their lives in Syracuse. People in our city are attracted to this music and cultural scene. We have 30 downtown cultural venues, and that's why the Connective Corridor travels the route that it does to hit these art spots. So, you know, our mission is to revitalize the city, yes, but it's also to, you know, close these gaps that exist through art and culture.